Hi everyone, on today's video we're going to talk about something really interesting for the summertime and summertime photography. This is called the polarizer filter. You see, this camera is actually equipped with one and um, it's uh, basically a rotating filter. You screw on your camera lens and the front part of it is freely rotating and you can see the effect directly into the viewfinder. It's live inside the viewfinder. So what is this effect? Well, the first effect on the polarizer filter is that it removes reflections. Just like on this car window, you see before and after the reflections are gone. It's also really useful to remove reflections on, for instance, my watch crystal, just like this, before and then after and um, it only works at certain angles so do not expect to make you disappear from the reflection in a window just like here before and after well you see it's basically the same and it doesn't work on metal so forget about being able to remove your reflection inside a mirror but it also works in car bodies because although the car is made out of metal the paint acts like a plastic. And just like a flex seal, it even works on water. The nice thing about removing reflections, it, it removes reflections on foliages. And as you can see on this picture, before and after, the greens, they get more intense and vibrant. If you combine this with the blue sky, and I don't even know how it works, let's say it's scientific mumbo jumbo that with a polarizer filter the sky gets bluer and uh, a little bit darker. So just look at this uh, landscape with this tree, the tree before and after, how the foliages get greener and intense, and the sky gets bluer. It's very interesting, and just imagine what you could achieve with this on the beach or in a mountain view. One last advantage of the polarizer filter is it acts like a neutral density filter. So if you like bokeh, just like me, just have a look at this picture on a wheat field without any polarizer. This is the maximum aperture I can use with the camera. The camera's shutter speed is maxing out. But if I throw in the polarizer filter, since it acts like a neutral density filter, I can get something like this. It's way cooler, isn't it? Sometimes you'll notice that the effect is not as powerful as it used to be. Well, there's a good reason for that. You see, the polarizer filter works the best when the sun hits your shoulders. So if you are the sun on your left or on your right, when you've taken a picture with a polarizer, the effect is going to be the best looking ever. If the sun is behind you or in front of you, well, the effect might not be as powerful as it is. But since you can see life inside the viewfinder, the effect it's going to have on your picture, it's not really a problem. And last but not least, although I used a color film to take all these pictures in this video, it will also work with digital cameras, but you know, I'm not really into digital cameras, except for doing this YouTube video, well, obviously it's a digital camera. So there you have it, my take on the polarizer filter. And what's not to like about it? It's a very good filter for summertime. Um, the only downside of it is uh, a good filter can be a little pricey. So this is a pro tip. My DSLR right here has a polarizer filter on it and I'm using the kit lens, the 18 to 55. The smaller diameter makes it a cheaper filter, so that's a solution I might consider if I would be looking for a polarizer filter and not to spend too much money onto it. Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. As always, uh, thank you for watching and be seeing you guys.